Hey, what's up guys? Prince Mason here again. Welcome to a brand new tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a quick and easy way to change your background if you shoot with seamless backdrops. Now, if you do, um, if you shoot with like a canvas or probably like you're shooting outdoors and you know, there's like a lot of stuff in the background, this technique will definitely not work for it. But when you shoot in the studio with seamless backdrops, um, it will definitely work for it. Like this picture right here, the background was painted by me. It's um, kind of like a... Um, oh, a plywood backdrop basically we painted it for a shoot I did for just a while ago and um, she requested or the CEO of the company requested this particular color and I painted it for her so when I'm doing like um, subsequent shoots with the backdrop um, I do not want to use the same color because I don't want a lot of pictures to have that color because she paid me specifically for um, that color for her pictures anyways I'm just babbling or rambling but let's just get straight into this particular project and I'll show you guys how I have been using this backdrop constantly but nobody will know because I'm always changing the color so it's pretty easy and it works um, seamlessly but before we get into that I'm going to show you guys um, my workflow my walkthrough to get to this point in this picture because I'm just retouching it and I just felt like I should do a simple tutorial for you guys so um, this is the before the image and this is the after now I know the hair doesn't look like you know perfect you know now that I've, I've fixed it in post but if um, it wasn't a personal shoot, if it was a paid shoot, I'd have gotten the hairstylist to come in and, you know, probably give her like a week or something for this shoot. But this is um, all I had to work with. So, yeah. So, this is the before. Um, I started with frequency separation, fixed all that, fixed the hair and all that stuff, fixed her skin. Then, um, from there, I moved into dodge and burn. Then, you, know, you can see we did like a little dodge and burn, you know, right here to make her features pop a lot more and, um, you know, exaggerate the. The effect of the light on her face then um, I fixed the hair because you know it was all over the place then I created the skin to look the exact way I like my skin tones looking now I fixed the eyes because they were looking a little bit yellow then from there I did the liquify and this is where this image is at now so moving on from here time to change the backdrop all I do is go to select then I'll go to color range then with the first um, picker tool color picker tool here I'm just going to pick this color and you can see it has selected like the purple at the back now I'm just going to come pick this second color picker tool um, this one is to pick the actual color that you want to um, change the second one is to add um, some parts of the color that you know the first pick, um, color picker tool did not pick so um, I can see that I didn't pick some dark some dark sides here so I'm just going to click those dark sides you can see it it is going that now it has going in her um, going part of her hair and I don't like that so I'm just going to click this third one here the one with the minus sign so the plus sign is to get more range the minus sign is to reduce the range so I'm just going to take that out and don't, don't want it you know then um, so yeah I, I think it's I think it's pretty good right now I think I actually think it's it's pretty good right now um, so another thing now is I'm just going to click OK so once I click OK it's going to have this nice selection around my subject then I'll click my adjustment um, palette right here um, for my adjustment layer then I'll click here on saturation you can see it literally like you know masks um, high away from the background so now I can change the background but the thing is I can always pick a brush in, in case it got some part of her skin that I don't want it to you know I don't want to show pick a black brush so I can hide this you know a lot more so I'm just going to paint over her eyes because I can I could see then that I got some part of her eyes then um, her earring you know just going to paint over all this just to make sure it gets everything I want it to get so. Pinterest <laughs> but yeah so now that we've gotten this out of the way right um, just go to your hue saturation um, I think you just stick to your master and you can now change the hue of the backdrop you guys see that and this is the color that I'm going for and that's perfect for me so this works for me this is the before and this is the after before after before after before after before after I can see that it's getting some part of her hair yet yeah? all I have to do is just zoom in um, get my probably white brush so I'll change the color of 
the foreground color to white oh sorry that's black <laughs> change it to black then i'm just going to paint out the grains is seen there and yeah so basically that's that's today's tutorial um it's not really rocket science trust me it's um pretty easy to do and uh, that's how i change color my backdrop now i feel like this color matches her skin tone and the whole aesthetics of this um this image you can also go in you can reduce the saturation if it's too much for you you know um you can increase the saturation but that will not look really good so just reduce the saturation and yeah so this is perfect for what i was going for Anyways, thank you for watching today's tutorial. My name is Prince Mason. If you haven't checked out my other tutorials, please make sure you check out uh, my tutorials on, on my tutorial. Oh, yeah, tutorials, actually, because they're um, a four-part series on how to retouch dark skin. Also, I put out tutorials every week, um, or I just put out videos every week. So do not forget to subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to turn on the notification button so that you can receive notifications every time I put up a new video. If this video helped you in any way, please comment below. Let me know. And I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Prince Mason. Peace.